Hi everyone, welcome to Medical Microbiology. Today we will continue chapter 25, RNA viruses that infect human. On the previous lecture, we will talk about the segmented single-stranded RNA viruses. So in this second lecture, we will talk about the non-segmented single-stranded RNA viruses. So it's going to be uh, structures going to be like this. So this is envelope viruses, right? Uh, envelope with spike. Okay, and capsid in the middle. And because this is non-segmented, it means that it's only one segment of single-stranded RNA. Okay, in the in the center. So this is the illustration of this envelope, non-segmented single-stranded RNA. There are six group in this uh, non-segmented type of RNA, okay, which is. Uh, the first one is paramyxoviruses, and then rhabdoviruses, coronaviruses, toga viruses, fluffy viruses, and uh, phyloviruses. Now we start with the first type of envelope, non-segmented. Uh, RNA, a okay, single-stranded RNA viruses, which is mixoviruses. So this group has many subtypes. Okay? The first one is paramyxovirus that can cause parainfluenza and mumps, okay, which is swelling on the parotid gland, parotid salivary glands, okay, under the cheek. So swelling uh, of the cheek. And then morbili viruses, this is the one that causing the most contagious type of disease, which is measles. Eh? So this is the most uh, contagious type of disease, measles. And then pneumoviruses, eh, the third type, is the one that causing the cell to be combined together to make a giant cell. It's called the syncytium a giant cell that has a lot of nucleus because this virus actually break the cell membrane of one cell and then combine it with another cell and finally it will make a giant cell with many uh, nucleus on it okay. so the first one is para influenza okay. this para influenza is caused by the para virus. And this parafluenza is very similar with the influenza, but with less uh, contagious and less dangerous compared to the uh, influenza that's causing by auto-mixo. Okay, remember, on the previous lecture, we talked about the uh, influenza, which is influenza A, B, or C. So this one is called the para-influenza, which is less contagious and less uh, uh, dangerous compared to the uh, the influenza, mostly in children. So the para influenza usually attack uh, children, and this is the sign and symptom. You know, minor cold, bronchitis, bronco, pneumonia. The second one is the virus that, you know, is the same virus actually, paramyxovirus is causing disease, what we call the mumps or parotitis, eh? inflammation of parotid gland over here. So under the cheek, you have a pair of salivary gland, it's called the uh, parotid salivary gland, and this virus actually infect this parotid gland and then causing the swollen on this area. Right? This is what we call the parotitis or mumps disease. Okay. 
Yeah. And usually there is a vaccination for this mumps and measles is called the MMR, mum, measles and uh, rubella. So this is MMR vaccine. Usually children, they will have this vaccination in order to protect them against measles, the mumps and rubella. Okay, measles. Again, this is the most contagious type of disease. Okay. So this is a very, very contagious. The ID or uh, infectious dose for this missile is one. Uh, it means that one virus will be able to cause or start disease to the uh, human, to the host. And human is the only reservoir for this measles viruses and this measles virus eh, is actually morbidly uh, virus this is the one that causing the uh, measles and there are two type of measles the first one is called measles and the other one is german uh, measles the the first one is the most contagious one eh, it's caused by the morbidly virus the second one is not that contagious is caused by ruby viruses this is some of sign of measles okay so you can see the spot okay rashes in the mouth is called the coplic spot okay? this is the very significant uh, or specific sign for measles and also maybe some rashes uh, on the skin mostly in uh, on baby or children uh, again measles is the most contagious type of disease and there is a vaccination for this which is mmr so mumps measles and uh, rubella uh, vaccine uh, the last one for this virus so viruses eh, this is called the pneumoviruses and from the name this virus is actually infect the lungs and causing the lung some of the lung cell become giant cell is called the syncytium or syncytial cell eh, where uh, many cell combine together eh, because of this virus become a giant cell that has many uh, nucleus okay so multi nucleate cell right? a giant cell that have a lot of uh, nucleus in it this is some of the symptom okay? fever uh, rhinitis pharyngitis otitis otitis and also croup and this is mostly on children and baby okay now the second one right? the second type of virus is the one that causing rabies the virus is called the rhabdoviruses yeah, so this is the second type of non-segmented uh, single-stranded RNA which is rhabdoviruses causing the rabies rhabdo mean uh, bullet uh, is it like a, a no bullet and this is under the microscope this is the illustration of that uh, structure and the envelope and then you see the spike over here okay and then the non-segmented SSN will be inside this center a eh? long uh, single-stranded uh, RNA okay rabies mostly transferred through the wild animal bites so the reservoir is actually in wild animal mostly uh, mammals right? like maybe dogs okay uh, bats okay this type of wild animal that carry the rhabdoviruses and can cause rabies to human and if the human have that virus for example get bit by the wild animals uh, then this there will be four stages of that disease and the first stage will be called the prodromal phase 
uh, start with a fever, nausea, vomiting, headache, okay? And then the second stage after that is gonna be furious phase, which is start with the agitation, disorientation, and mostly they will be, okay, the patient will be afraid of water, okay, hydrophobia. And then after that, the next dumb phase, Okay, the patient may be paralyzed for a while, disoriented, and even if it is not healthy, even causing death to the patient. So these are the four stages, uh, stages of uh, rabies. This is the distribution of rabies in the United States. It is actually based on the distribution of the animals, the wild mammal that carry that disease. Okay, in the northern area and middle area, mostly carry by skunk. So skunk is the the main reservoir and resource for the rabies in the middle part of United States. In the southern part, mostly caused by fox. Okay, fox that carry the uh, rabies, rhabdoviruses, and the western part is also skunk, and the eastern part mostly carried by raccoon. Okay, raccoon is the source uh, and also reservoir for rabies in the eastern part of the United States. Uh, this is some of diagnosis and also uh, preventions and uh, management of rabies. Okay, so treatment mostly using passive and active force exposure immunization. Uh, Controlled by vaccinations of domestic animals. So like maybe dog, for example, uh, they should get vaccinations against these rabies viruses. Okay, the next one, okay, number three will be coronaviruses. Okay, it's called coronaviruses because this virus look like a, a flower so corona is actually mean uh, kind of flowers uh, it's very nice uh, structure of this virus under the uh, microscope okay this virus mostly attack the human respiratory system okay so like a common cold uh, but it can also causing some very dangerous infection like SARS, okay, severe acute respiratory syndrome. This is in 2001, 2002, eh? this become pandemic. And Middle East respiratory syndrome or MERS, this is mostly pandemic in the Middle East area around 2012. Eh? And then the COVID-19. Uh, this is the one that still causing pandemic in some countries like India right now. Okay, so but in the United States, I think it's kind of uh, uh, lower down. Okay, it's kind of uh, decrease the uh, infection of this COVID-19, and mostly this is outbound transmission, uh, and they actually mostly you know the spike if this is the virus. Okay, so the spike mostly attached to the receptor eh, in the respiratory uh, cell, eh, like in the mouth, in the nose. So therefore, the primary uh, transmission of this virus will be through the nose and mouth. Okay, so again, this is the sum of uh, severe 
uh, type of disease that caused by the coronaviruses, and, uh, SARS in 1912, and then MERS in 2012, uh, 2012, and this is the sign and symptom of this disease mostly on the uh, respiratory tract infection and the problem is if it is actually attack the uh, lung it can cause pneumonia and problem with breathing this is the newly uh, type of disease that caused by the coronavirus okay, in 2019 and still uh, in some area yeah, and even in the United States, there are still some thousands of people that still have this type of infection, which is COVID-19. Uh, this is the name of disease, which is coronavirus disease 19. So this is the year when that disease is uh, started. Okay, so coronavirus disease 2019. Okay, the next one will be uh, rubella. Yeah, is caused by ruby viruses, yeah, uh, also known as German measles. Uh, it is very similar with the measles, but you know it's uh, less uh, dangerous. And then also vaccinations is going to be the same like vaccination that used for measles, mumps, and this one rubella. So the name of the vaccine is MMR. Okay, which is mumps, measles, and uh, rubella vaccine. So uh, it's protect against three type of disease, which is mumps, measles, and rubella. Rubella is also known as a German measles. Okay, there are two types of German measles. Right? The first one is called the postnatal rubella. Uh, this is uh, after the birth, okay, so mostly kids uh, and children will have this kind of symptom. And the second one is called the congenital rubella, which is mostly affecting the baby uh, or the fetus, uh, the embryo inside the uh, mother wombs. It can cause miscarriages. Okay. The next one, uh, which is fluffy viruses, can cause disease called the hepatitis C. So this is the name of the virus. Okay, this is the fifth type of uh, non-segmented, uh, single-stranded RNA viruses, which is fluffy viruses, can cause disease called the hepatitis C. And this hepatitis C will be very similar with the hepatitis B. Okay, it can be transferred uh, with the uh, blood transfusion, for example. Yeah. So it's blood contacts, okay, like blood transfusion, needle sharing, or maybe uh, blood uh, transfusion, okay. I think should be one more over here. Uh, I don't think we have so number. This is number five. Okay, the fluffy virus is, is number five. Uh, I think I forget to put one more, which is the phylo viruses. Yeah. And this is the one that causing the very dangerous type of disease which is Ebola and Ebola transfer through the liquid uh, blood liquid uh, that is uh, produced by the uh, patient so usually you know uh, the patients will die within five to seven days after infection so this is a type of uh, lytic okay so remember lytic or acute infection where the virus actually destroy the cell very very fast and this destruction will cause bleeding 
So therefore, it's called the hemorrhagic fever type of infection. So it can cause fever and then bleeding, and then finally it will kill uh, the patient within five to seven days. So it's very, very uh, dangerous and also contagious type of disease. Okay, I think that's all uh, for uh, lecture two, okay, for chapter 25, which is non-segmented type of RNA. Uh, it should be not N yet, so this is wrong over here. So the next lecture, okay, I forget to change this one. The next lecture will be HIV, which is very special virus that causing AIDS. Okay, so uh, lecture three, uh, chapter 25 will be about HIV viruses. Okay, I'll see you then on the next lecture. Bye-bye.